Hello everyone, Jeffrey Kruger here. What you're looking at is an 8 inch diameter disc made out of hard maple that I'm, I've already had submerged in the wax for a while. It's going to go for probably another half an hour. I use beeswax. I've machined it very close and when I'm done with this process it will be warped a little bit and I will remachine those edges till it's true again. What I'm making is an 8000 mesh lap. When I'm done with truing it up I will take a quarter carat of 8000 mesh powder, diamond powder, and I will mix it with a little olive oil and I will spread it evenly with a small paintbrush, a camel hair paintbrush, around the surface of the lap. Then I will take a hardened roller. I get mine from old electric motors and that's hardened steel around that bearing surface and I put a little piece of shaft through there and I roll that in really really good so I'm pushing that 8000 mesh evenly and nicely and into the surface of the wax and the fibers of the wood then when I know that I've done that really well actually you can put a vice grip on there and it makes a nice handle but with my big paws I can get away with it so uh, then when I'm done with that I put the actual lap in the faceting machine and put some olive oil on there as a lubricant and I have this polished surface here with a nice chamfer around it so there's no edge to catch and I and I with the machine running I, I run this in with some olive oil and once I feel that that's really impregnated nicely and smooth the way I like it, it's ready for use use as faceting in the in the faceting machine as polishing your facets. So I'm bringing the temperature up in the wax right now, and you'll see more and more of these bubbles forming. What that is, the air in the wood, in the tubulars of the wood, is being replaced with the wax and that's what you want. I will I will slowly boil this and play with it till I see no more bubbles and I let it cool and then I do the process in which we just spoke of. People ask me how you polish, what is polishing? Polishing is really just you take whatever rough grit mesh that you need. You can go look up tables what mesh means and to rough out the stone you have all these scratches then you go to the finer mesh wheel and you work those scratches completely out till the scratches match the mesh of the wheel you're using then you clean everything up go to the next finer mesh what you decide and that makes scratches and you scratch until the scratches match that mesh that you're using and all of the other scratches from the previous laps that you've been using are gone because there's nothing worse than polishing a stone facet or something and seeing a scratch in it because you didn't completely cover one of your previous laps scratches. So when you get down to uh, the finest polishing laps they make some really fine uh, um, uh, polishes out there. Uh, I personally um, really enjoy this lap for this 8000 mesh. The, the, the one I'm replacing is a 6 inch diameter one that I've used for years and I've always wanted to uh, upgrade to the 8 inch diameter and here it is and I'm sharing the information with you. So I hope you enjoy this video and tomorrow I will be, um, I, well you can see my stack of laps over here. I have all the different kinds of electroplated diamond laps that are really nice. All my laps are diamond laps. And tomorrow I will be cutting a beautiful stone in my fastening machine. And here's a peek at that. So I will be using my new lap in this machine tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have an excellent day.